hot diggity international dog. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You know me, I love a good hot dog. Even the hot dogs I don't love, I still like, and even the hot dogs I don't like, I still eat completely and quickly. How about you? I, well, <laughs> I expect every hot dog to earn my love. That makes sense, knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can find a hot dog anywhere, at a ball game, at a barbecue, on the street for goodness sake. And you can also find them all over the world. It's time for Where in the World Do These International Hot Dogs Come From? We're gonna sample a style of hot dog served and commonly enjoyed somewhere in the world and we're gonna guess what country it is commonly enjoyed in by throwing a common dart at that map over there, which look, we got Frankfurter Chase here today. Still con <laughs> cartographer and Frank Where, Franktographer. Where's your bun? That'll be it. I don't know. I couldn't find it when I woke up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you just, as long as you're here, that's all that matters. Low carb style. Okay, I won last time, which means Link, you're gonna get a special advantage dart. This time it is the old hot dog on a stick employee of the month dart. It's Matt Carney's face on top of a sloppy hot dog on a stick that you okay. get to throw at the board. Of course, the person with the lowest score at the end is the winner. And the winner gets his wiener covered in ketchup and mustard by Sir Perky. I don't know what that means, but we'll find out Sir when somebody Perky. wins. Yep. <laughs> Look at this. This looks like a freaking mythical kitchen creation. I assume there's a hot dog in there. Is that th just taters and cheese? It's is it is there cheese? Let's I mean, you can dip it in some in some ketchup. I don't think it's cheese, it's just like French fries. A bunch of potatoes cut up. French fry crusted. It's a corn dog. Corn dog type thing. But instead of just regular batter, mm. it's like hash browns. Man, that is nice. Where are they gonna do this at? Wow. Russia's a big target. It is. Man. Chase uh, is having uh, trouble sitting down. What happened? What happened? I'm just gonna stand. Do you wanna, do you wanna lower there? You sure? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. I was kinda worried something like that had happened. You're good. Okay, you're good, you're good. I don't know how you're gonna get up, but Boy, what are you I, thinking? I got very little to go on. It tastes like something you'd get at an American state fair. Yeah. You know, and the closest place to America on that map is Canada. Adenac, backwards. Mm -hmm. Right, Adenac. He's going for Canada, people. I'm going Canada. Woo! Oh, right in the middle of the Kansas. heartland! <laughs> Kansas, where you at? If there was some mayo in here, I think that would give this away as like a Swedish thing. Dang it, man, I don't know. I think you. I think it could be Canada, and I can't risk going away from that. Well, hold on a second before you do that. You're gonna let your hair down? <laughs> okay. Are you strapping on a GoPro? It just like... <laughs> <laughs> you look cool. That's awesome. Yeah, you look awesome. So, so what? I want, because I've been talking about how good of a view I've got back here of you, and I wanted everybody to be able to see it. I can't risk going away from Canada because <laughs> I, 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 I want people to be in it on I, the action. I think man. you could be right. So I'm going for more of Canada than you did. Yeah, oh, it's a good shot. Yeah. Is this, is this on, online? Oh, oh yeah! I hit Canada. You hit Canada. And you got quite a shot of it, I bet. I did, I did. At least, at least your arm. Was Stevie? Fine. Okay, guys, you just ate a Kogo, which is a corn dog coated with crinkle cut french fries and served with ketchup. You can find this popular deep fried dream in South Korea. Oh, mm. I'm actually closer than you. Dang it. All right, Rhett, you had 70, and Link, you had 79. <laughs> wow. Both very poor. This is a bad start. What in the world do we have here? A loaded. Hot dog, what is on this thing? There's some sort of... You know what else I can do with my, my, my new head cam? What? I can get really good shots of these hot dogs. Oh, that's dramatic. There's a big slice of avocado. Is there sauerkraut as Some well? sort of... What is that stuff right there? Some kind of crunchy something or other. This is a confused dog. Oh man, a lot of mayo. Okay, all right, you're winning, so you're still going first. You're still going first, Rhett. You're still going first. You don't have to do that. I know you're jealous that you Look at me. I know you're jealous that you're you, going first. You don't have a camera on your head. But you don't have to get that much in my face. 
I know that they put mayonnaise on their french fries in Holland because I've watched Pulp Fiction. And you've also been there. And that's pretty close to Sweden. <sighs> so I yeah, guess I'll just shoot, aim at Sweden. Man. Oh, you went a little right to Russia. Oh, shoot. I gotta play a little defensively. What's that mean? I'm going between Sweden and Spain. Ah, yes. Middle of the board. Oh yeah! Right in the Mediterranean! Okay. You just had a completo, a very long hot dog, sometimes twice the size of an American hot dog. It's a big one. Usually served with ingredients such as chopped tomatoes, avocados, lots of mayonnaise, sauerkraut, salsa americana, ahi pepper, and green sauce. You can find this dirty dog in Chile. Ah, uh, you should have gone with, see, oh. you, you, you're not listening to your instincts, Stevie, man. you didn't mention the avocado. That's the, thing we, that's the thing I we did. got hung up on. Chopped tomatoes, avocados. She, oh, she said avocado. I was listening. Rhett, you had 57. Blink, you had 39. Whoa. Oh, I, I think I just took the lead. You did. <laughs> Quick reminder, check out our podcast, Ear Biscuits. It's two lifelong friends talking about their life for a long time. Yeah. It's about 60 minutes. <laughs> Yeah, give or take. About an hour. Wherever you get podcasts uh, every Monday, and then the following Sunday, video form on the Ear Biscuits YouTube channel. Link, is this an egg on top of a hot dog? Uh, it's a small something. I was thinking it might be like mozzarella, mm -hmm. but it's actually just a it's just a hard boiled quail yep. egg, I think. That's a little eggy. And there's potato, potato chips, chips on this puppy. What else? Hmm, and that wiener's special. It's a smaller wiener. Still lots of mayo. Well, you go first, man. How's that feel? Potato chips. Feels weird. Hmm. Why would they do this? I don't know that we've ever eaten anything from New Zealand, but I just keep looking at it. But it's such a risk. You know what? Screw it. Yeah. I'm in the lead. I'm gonna go for the gusto. Yeah. New Zealand. Do I'm it. gonna trust my gut. Do it, man. What? You think I'm wrong? No. Oh, it's a great guess. I'm gonna go closest to New Zealand. A long ways away. Oh. Yeah. That's right where I wanted it. All right, let me in here. I don't know. You think I'm right? You think I could be right? Well, definitely. Down there in Hobbit land. It could be New Zealand, but New Zealand is known for its birds with big eggs, not little eggs. Is that what a kiwi is? I've never been to Africa, but something tells me that like, if I showed up in Ghana and they were like, here's a hot dog and there was a little egg on top of it, I'd be like, okay. When in Ghana. Right, here we go. I'll eat, I'll eat the egg. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for Ghana. Oh my! Stevie. This hot dog is served in a traditional bun with ketchup, mustard, mayo, pineapple, crushed potato chips, and a boiled quail egg speared on top. Pineapple. It's a one of a kind creation known as the Peros Calientes Colombianos, and that's because it's from Colombia. Yeah. Ah. Pretty close to Ghana on that map. <laughs> Colombianas. Link, you had 60, and <laughs> Rhett, you had 19. No, oh, well, I made up some ground there. This is served in a cup. It's like a pita. Pour it out. It's like a hero. Is this tzatziki? Yeah, and and maybe even potatoes? What is that? Is that a potato fluffy little cloud in there? I think it's garlic sauce. I don't it's... smell any garlic. No, it's potato. It is potato. potato. We agree. All right, and you're... You're back in the lead. But what else? I a won't let dog. you. I won't let you do a second round of not tasting. The, oh, you're the saying thing. there's something else hidden. Thank you. Oh, look at that. First of all, it's just mashed potatoes. That's crap, son. Whoa, it was hidden. Thank you, Stevie. Wow, that's good. It's a sweet sauce. Okay, all of South America has been taken. Colombia and Chile have been guessed. New Zealand's out there, you know. It's open for business. A lot of crabs crawling around and. The hobbit holes and... I think I'm gonna go Spain, just because it's on the Mediterranean and you can get all these things from around the Mediterranean. <laughs> from around the Mediterranean. New Zealand's not a bad guess, so I'm gonna go to the east of Spain. So like, I'm going sort of Middle East here. Middle East, he says. Oh man, New Zealand is really calling my name. You still have your special dart, too. I gotta save that. Crap. Mm. New Zealand. And I'm going all the way. I'm not even hedging my bets. Yeah, yeah, hit it right in the middle of the island. Yeah, this is it. I'm, I'm right, I feel it. <laughs> no, it's too low! 
<laughs> too low! Come on, let me try again. All right. Nope, too high. You're gonna try it? All right, forget it. No, that that can count. You, you want me to? You want to give me another shot? That was it. You just got. You just. Oh. <laughs> you hold on. Put it back where you just put that, it. That was you. like a tantrum throw. Oh, okay. I didn't know it really counted. I think. Are you gonna give me another? The fact that hold on, you're already getting a cheap dart, and then you missed it, which is technically fifty off. And then, and you, then I was. And I you, didn't know you it was threw gonna a tantrum count. dart. Let yeah, the tantrum, tantrum dart, dart count. All right, I'm gonna. That's throw a good it. compromise. Is a tantrum dart counts, and you missed it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go take a dart and put it in the tantrum hole. <laughs> I'm putting a dart in the tantrum hole. Are you? You're not even filming with the GoPro. Oh, uh, I, you went. No. You, I'm so excited about your GoPro, no, it, it, and you're not even using we've it. We've got better shots for that. I'm telling you. This is. I mean, this is nothing for a GoPro. It really turned into a tantrum hole, didn't it? Okay. You just ate tunbrada rula. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but I really tried. Doesn't sound like it's from New Zealand. <laughs> Which is a hot dog surrounded by mashed potatoes, shrimp salad, lettuce, and onions all rolled into a wrap. This land and sea dog is from Sweden. Oh, which is pretty close to Spain. All right, Rhett, you had 16, and Link, you had 56. What are you uh, laughing at? Oh, you, hey, you know what? Hey, listen, you uh, listen, you know what? If you, it says 56 is more than 50. Let's just count your first dart and it's just 50. That's why I was laughing. Even better. Oh. How about that? You just gained six points. By failing harder. <laughs> oh, we got some kind of French bread pizza. With a hot dog in the middle. It kind of looks like a hot dog bun. So it's a transformer. It's a pizza that becomes a hot dog. It's a pizza hot dog. It's not a hot dog pizza, it's a pizza hot dog. That's a, that's a good one. And of course, I have my special dart. I know I'm going second, but I want to go ahead and show you. Former hot dog and a stick employee, Matt Carney, ready to help me make up some ground. Work with me. Now, the country is on the board, but it is not labeled. Dang, this could be anywhere. Link, you're down by 66 points. Centimeters, um, yes. If you can name the country that this is, and also get some of your Residence. mess onto that country, you win no matter what. That's what I'll say. I'll throw that out there. But uh, maybe this is somewhere in Europe. Maybe this is P Poland. Will just pull things out, and it is a sort of a Polish type sausagey wiener. It is. I can't actually tell you which one of those countries is Poland, but I know approximately where it is. Pizza dog. <laughs> okay, you're not in Africa. Low. It's not in Africa. <laughs> All right, Matt Carney. Now's your moment. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna slather up. Your actual face here. Oh, I just lost lost his face. All right, so I have to I have to come up with an actual guess. You got to have an actual guess. It'd be kind of on the nose to guess Italy, wouldn't it? Yeah. You know what? They they fully embraced it. Okay. It's just like, all right, we're the father of pizza. We can throw some hot dog in the middle of that. Now you still got to get your wiener onto Italy. Oh, that's not going to be a problem. <laughs> Did I? Maybe just a little bit, but I don't think so. Okay. I hit a bunch of ocean. You have a tiny, tiny smudge on the top okay. of Italy. You just ate what locals in this country call the stoner. It features a long hot dog and a bun covered in pizza sauce and mozzarella cheese, sometimes with pepperoni, then boiled. You'll find this pizza hot dog in the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Oh, oh man. Well, you, you hit it, but I don't think you made up the difference. I nailed it. Yeah, I don't think that could work. Yeah, Rhett, you had 13, and Link, you had one. Ah, hey, you won, a, you won that round. I felt great about that round, and I'm gonna focus on that. But you lost the game. Congratulations, Rhett, you win, what is it? He gets to have his con condiments delivered by Sir Perky. Ooh. It's coming right out of the rectums of those little red men. Gross. That's the prize I've been working uh, on. <laughs> and you missed the plate. Hold on, let me get a let me get a good GoPro shot of that. Oh yeah. Oh, One yeah. of these days I'm gonna win this again. I feel it. Yeah, I feel it too. It'll happen. Thank you for believing in me and thank you for clicking that bell. <laughs> you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Greg from Victoria, British Columbia, and it's time to spin. The wheel of mythicality. Maybe we should invite Greg and he can he can <laughs> throw knives. Yeah, yeah of Greg, come on, help me out. All right, click the top link to watch us try white hot dog in Good Mythical More. And to find out whether Will and Mythicality is gonna land, keep us close to your heart with our mythical necklaces. Available now at mythical.com.